Alright guys, welcome to part two of my Peyton Manning offensive scheme. Uh, and this is one of my favorite parts of the scheme. And I know it's not going to be sexy. It's not going to be, you know, just groundbreaking material. But what it's going to be is it's going to be effective. And it's going to be um, something that is very powerful for the way this offense works together. Because Peyton Manning's offense is all about this statement that I'm about to make. It's about having a finite, a small number, a collection of plays that fit together. And that's what we're going to show you in this video. Now, if you've never met me before, my name is Cody and I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos right here on my channel every single day. We upload a video every day at two o'clock, at four o'clock, at six o'clock, at eight o'clock PM Eastern time. And then we also live stream every night at 10 o'clock PM Eastern time right here on my channel. Our live streams are where you could play me in Madden, you can ask questions, you can meet people, um, just a great place to be able to hang out um, every evening uh, of the year. So uh, real quick, we're in the middle of a series, and I did a video, and I wanna recap, recap it for you here just really, really quickly, uh, and I'm gonna come down here and grab a specific defense as well, but Dime 146, and uh, because I believe that's probably the best pass defense in the game, and da, 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 let's see what we're looking for here. We're looking for cover four. Uh, we're looking for maybe if we have like a cover three cloud. Do we have something like that? Cover six. Okay. And then uh, we're going to grab Tampa two as opposed to cover six. All right. So cover two man. And we talked about this yesterday. So to run this offense well, the really the, the number one ability that you need to have is a um, – a slot apprentice if you have a slot apprentice, you can run it without a slot apprentice if you wanted to it just works best if you have a slot apprentice to be able to use uh, this specific play that I'm about to talk about so um, the play is under Y option now we covered this yesterday I just want to do this as a quick recap uh, for you guys and basically what we're gonna do here uh, all we're gonna need to do is we're gonna just take that slot on the left side and we're going to put him on a post route over the middle of the field. And what this is going to create is this is going to create basically a levels concept um, right here. The next thing we're going to need to do is all the things we can do with our standard hot routes that we're given already. So you don't have to have a hot route master. I would personally think a hot route master will make this even better than it already is, but um, we'll just show you. So uh, timing goes on a streak, back goes on a, a little uh, block and release flat and then you've got a curl route right there that's basically it and you're just reading this you're going streak to post to, to, to in route uh, actually technically it's streak to in route to post um, because you want to hit that in route if you can at all possible uh, and you will be able to hit that in route the majority of the time pretty much against any cover two you're going to be able to hit the in route because um, the vert hooks will always drop back take that and you're going to be able to hit Mike Evans unless they drop their hooks uh, zone drop steps at five so that's kind of our base play, that levels concept going, um, essentially it's, you know, everything's moving from left to right. Now in today's video, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a play that you could use off of it that I really, really like. Um, and that play is called, uh, the Colts, I believe, called it Finn. Um, but uh, I'm actually not sure what they called it, but it's called inverted levels, basically what it is. And, and essentially where they're going to flip assignments on this play. And to do this, we're going to use the play uh, dagger from this formation. And why I love this play so much, dagger, is because I feel like from what I've seen, uh, dagger does a really, really, really good job at beating both man-to-man -man coverage and giving you a route that is really good against zone coverage as I totally just dropped my controller. Um, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So doubles flex uh, from the New England, we're in the New England book by the way, which we actually break down the whole ebook from this, which is not just this formation. We break down over 300 plus formation or uh, pages with over 36 um, with over 36 formations broken down in our ebook. So if you want the full guide on this, this is just the Peyton Manning version of this offense. You can actually run a lot of things from this and we break down everything in our ebook if you want to pick that up in the description. If you have any questions about that, just text me. I'll give you a free sample formation as well. But let me just read you a quick description about, uh, about inverted levels. Um, it's simply the same concept as levels with the inside receiver running the short five yard route while the outside receiver runs the deep square and behind it. Um, it's simply the same concept. It's just different people are running the routes. 
what people are going to start doing against you whenever you start running levels at a high level is that they're going to literally um, cross man the crap out of you they're gonna try to they're gonna try to overplay certain routes once they start to overplay certain routes what's nice about it is it's going to give you um, a big time advantage offensively so uh, anyway the play that we're gonna go over is dagger now it's not we're not actually gonna run the dagger concept we can and we will run the dagger concept later on um, in this guide but right now I just want to cover the second version of levels and that is um, it's technically I think it's called fin um, but it's basically just inverted levels. so we're gonna jump right in here now all we're going to do with this is we're going to take our right side inside slot receiver and I'm gonna put him on most of the time he's gonna go on a hitch route most of the time I'd say probably 80% of the time he's gonna go on a hitch he could go also on an in route if you wanted to the reason I like the hitch route better is because it holds the yellow zones a little bit better um, you could put him on that in route if you wanted to okay um, and then everything else everything else literally is the same streak to the tight end curl flat concept to the back side with the back and the and the outside right receiver now against man to man how's this gonna work well this in route this is why the one reason why I would suggest an in route, I think the in route is going to be a little bit better against man than the hitch route will be. Um, that's just kind of my perspective. Uh, I would not drag him because if you drag him, he's going to get across too fast. But you see on in routes, he's going to get an inside release. That's why I'm saying to put him on an in route. Now, if you have backfield master on this specific play, because of the placement of where the routes are going to become and develop, you might want to put the back on a little shoot flat as opposed to a block and release pattern. Okay, if you have backfield master, that will help. But you'll see here, he's always going to get that inside release. So you can, if they're pressing you, you're going to be able to have you know fairly good chance at being able to win even in a press situation. Now, if they're shading coverage up, you'll see right here um, he's going to get open you know fa fairly easily underneath. It's just a little underneath, little quick throw, quick throw. So you have that uh, option. And most of the time, what's going to start happen, happening is they're going to run some type of cover three, and they're going to have hard flats. You'll see here, hard flats aren't going to do anything against this in route, and you can hit that consistently. And oftentimes what people will actually do uh, from this is they'll actually go to cover three, but what they'll do is they'll take this inside receiver and they'll, or inside backer, and they'll put him on some type of Mabel coverage, right? They're going to Mabel that left side. Well, if they do that, you'll see this little in route is going to come open even cleaner. Okay, and a lot of times what people are going to do is they're actually going to user up the seam to the tight end because if they don't user up the seam, then what's going to happen is from a cover three perspective, we're going to be able to hit that seam read really, really quickly to the tight end. What's also really nice about this this lap, this route in particular is if they are going to bring their yellow zones underneath because they're trying to stop these little in routes you'll see that that in route is going to get over to the right quicker and it's going to be able to pull that middle guy a lot faster. So there's a lot of advantages uh, to running this. And this is something that I like to do off of the levels concept. Um, now let me show you cover two. Cover two is actually going to do a little bit better of a job against this than it does against levels. But as you can see, that little in route is going to do the same thing. It's going to come open really, really, really quickly um, as a quick, simple read for your offense. And the reason that this is significant is because it forces their user to have to respect it. If their user doesn't respect the middle of the field in route, they're screwed. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna torch them all game long. This little five yard route, you'll you'll hit it every time. You have to get to the place where you are willing to take your five yard in route every single time. That is what sets up everything in this offense. So the next thing that you're gonna be able to do from this is once your in route starts to become successful. Then what you're going to see is this backside deep, deep dig is going to become wide open in behind it. That's what's really powerful about this offense. Now, one thing you can do with this dig is you can smart route it. The thing is, oftentimes when you smart route, it's actually going to go shallower than it's, than it's going to go deeper, unless you're in a long, you know, down and distance situation. But this is the basic, like I said, the basic concept. So uh, what about like Tampa 2, and we'll take a middle linebacker, throw him into there, and we're actually going to take and play three underneath coverage with this. And what you'll see is that middle linebacker's in the deep, you see that that dig's coming in behind it. So you're really gonna be oftentimes using a two-man read between 
the backside, uh, the backside little baby in route, and then also the big time uh, dig route coming right over. You see here, uh, this is cover three. And oftentimes, when as far as pass leading this goes, you're going to want to pass lead this up. If you pass lead it down, um, it, it's often you're you're, you're going to risk throwing interceptions. But if you pass lead it up, you're going to be fairly effective. And again, you're just watching right here. But if that if that yellow and you really want to hit this route earlier than later, if that yellow zone on that left side, which most of the time, at least from my experience, uh, when you run dagger, uh, when you run like when you run this inverted levels concept using dagger as kind of the shell play to be able to work from, when you run this, if you watch that yellow zone, most of the time he's going to come down. But you the the one issue with it is if that purple, if they're in a purple zone and it's default, like a curl flat zone, the one issue you're going to have is that purple zone will kind of sit on that in route because there's no flat over there to pull it. And so that's where that's where I can see, you know, you just have to be mindful of that. Okay, um, you have to be aware of that, and you have to you have to understand that. Now, if they're Mabel coveraging, which again, here's the other thing that people don't understand: if they're not Mabel coveraging, we'll take the flat, and we'll get fifteen, you know, seven to ten yards very easily. So if they're running some type of cover three look like that, then you can literally just, I mean, you can work this flat route. Um, if you see cover three, just look to your right. I guarantee you a lot of times you're going to have that running back wide open in the flat. And if you don't, it's because they're Mabel coveraging. And if they're Mabel coveraging you, a lot of times you're, you're um, either your curl route will be wide open or your, um, you'll see this right here. Uh, this is from a cover three perspective. But if they're Mabel coveraging you, um, you should see the middle of the field is going to be wide open inside release right there. They got incredible pressure, but um, but that that little dig route should be wide open. Um, obviously, if they blitz you off that right edge, I could have taken that easy um, read. But most of the time, if they're going to Mabel cover, just going to look something like this right here, right? So your middle of the field's open. I mean, the middle of the field is wide open here. So. You could take the dig, you could take the in route, you could take the streak route, you could probably even take the curl route on the back side of this. Um, and so that's what makes it really, really good. Now against cover two, like I said, this play is just, I mean, just really effective against cover two. Um, oftentimes your your underneath little five yard in is gonna come open and you're just gonna take that. That's gonna be a quick read for you. Um, again, you want to read your tight end first. So you're reading your tight end to your in route to your, um, to your running back to your deep deeper routes most of the time i honestly don't even have to work and I, I normally don't have to get to the running back normally i'm looking at this um you know ground and then to the level concept right here and most of the time the levels you know the levels are going to work just fine so anyways guys that's inverted levels that's how you run it if you have any questions about this just shoot me a text my number is 812 uh, 216 3644. Now, if you want to get full high level Madden schemes as well, sent to you every single week, these are like pro level, like what people are running in the MCS, top of the line schemes. I would highly encourage you to go ahead and just shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 3644. So far, we've released the Carolina Bunch, the Big Nickel Over G, the Arizona Cluster, the Minnesota Single Back Trio. Um, the gun wide off trips pass at Decroft runs. Uh, we released a lot of high quality schemes over there. A lot of people have said that the the text membership is actually more worth it um, than a lot of people's ebooks out in the world right now, just because it covers so many things and it really does a deep dive into it. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and just shoot me a text. Completely free to sign up. All you got to do is text me. Let me know you like to receive the videos. And I will shoot them your way. Also, if you have questions, it is my direct line. So it is my direct cell phone. So just shoot me a text and let me know uh, what I can do to help you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you tonight.